Hello ladies and welcome back. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about five different ways that you can prepare your wardrobe for spring. Spring is upon us, especially here in Atlanta where I live. However, we have had a couple of days here lately that were really cool and rainy, but nevertheless, spring is still upon us. So we're going to be talking about some ways that you can begin to prepare your wardrobe for spring. Now, if any of you are like me, I need to have organization. So if I do not put away my winter clothes and bring out my spring clothes, then it is very difficult for me to get dressed now some people may say that that's ocd but i think it's just knowing what works for me so if this is you also then this video is going to be very beneficial for you and even if you're not like this i still have some great tips for preparing your wardrobe for spring so be sure to watch the full video to the very end if you are landing on this channel for the very first time my name is Teresa, and this channel is all about leveling up and becoming more elegant and more graceful. And if you're interested in that, please consider subscribing to the channel. And also ladies, before you leave the video, if you've enjoyed watching this video, please hit that like button as that tells me what type of videos you guys enjoy watching. So without further ado, let's jump straight into this video. So now ladies, let me share with you my outfit of the day. Today's outfit is going to begin with a little note of my favorite perfume. And this is just going to freshen everything up. Next up are my suede boots that I got from Banana Republic. And I'm going to be pairing these with these faux leather pants. This white cotton shirt has the most beautiful detailing on it. It has a tuxedo front with also some lace around the neckline and the sleeves. And I really love how this comes together with these vegan leather pants. I've tied the outfit together with a black belt with a gold buckle, which really brings it together with my gold accessories and just a beautiful look. I love how the boots and these ankle length pants really just bring this silhouette together to look very classy and sophisticated. Here is the gilet that I'm going to be wearing with this outfit today. This is the bougiest gilet that I have ever owned. It is from Holland Cooper. It has the leather, very understated logo on the back of the gilet and I just really love how this comes together again in the spring season you don't need a heavy coat so a gilet is just perfect to keep you warm cozy and also looking classy hello my elegant ladies and welcome back so before we get into the five different ways that you can prepare your closet for spring. I had something so heartwarming given to me the other day that I wanted to share with you ladies. So most of you who have been watching my video know that my husband and I have moved house and we have had so many contractors in and out of this house that I cannot even keep up with them. Two days ago, we had a screen contractor out here at the house and I believe the gentleman was probably in his early 70s and he had just a really great personality and I picked up on it right away when I opened the door and he just had a really great demeanor. And after measuring all of our windows for the screen replacements, he was standing at the countertop in my kitchen, he pulled out a dollar bill and he started doing something with it. So I just thought maybe that he was just folding his money back up to put it in his wallet. But when he got done, he handed me this and I wanted to share it with you. This is my own frame. I decided to frame it because I think he was giving me something to remember him by. 
and it is a dollar bill that he folded into a shirt so let me show you guys that and i thought this was just lovely and one of the things that he told me to pay attention to was that on the side of the shirt it says in god we trust so i don't know if you guys can see it right here but it says in god we trust and when he comes back i'm actually going to get him to sign it for me inside this frame because i'm going to be keeping this i think it is such an heirloom gift but that was just so touching and he also shared with me that he had given these little things out around the world so i'm the happy recipient of this and i thought it was just a little touch of kindness so my tip number one to prepare for spring is to go ahead and pull out all of those spring items that you intend to wear and for me that would be denim short t-shirts and also some slacks it depends on where i'm going and sundresses your hats the spring bags and even your shoes what type of shoes do you plan on wearing this spring so i would go ahead and pull out all of those items and just lay them out now my tip number two is to go ahead and start trying on some of those items to see if they still fit now our bodies change from season to season sometimes you may have put on a little bit of extra weight and sometimes you may have lost weight. I had actually gained weight during the lockdown and now I have lost that weight and I'm back to my original size. So some of the things that I wore last summer are too big this summer. So the first thing is to go ahead and start trying on those items and make sure that they still fit. Once you try on your clothing items, if you do not love them, then it might be time to either sell them or donate them to charity. So if you do not smile when you put that outfit back on or you don't feel good in it, then that is a clue that it may be time to donate that item. So my tip number two is to go ahead and try on all of those items to make sure that you love them and that they still fit. So my next tip to prepare your wardrobe for spring is to take a close look at the items that you pulled out to see if they need any repairs. Now, over time, things get ripped and they get torn. And if it's an item you love, then you may need to do some slight repairs to them or take them to a seamstress for alteration. I know as for me, I'm not really sure how some of my things get torn but they actually do and if it's something that i can sit down and mend myself because of the high cost of dry cleaning and having alterations done if i can mend it myself then i sit down and take care of those items that have been torn or ripped because most of my wardrobe that i have now are comprised of items that i really really love and i just want to take care of them so that would be the next tip is to go ahead and take a close look at the items that you took out for your spring wardrobe and just see if they need any type of repair now my next tip is regard to putting away your winter clothes and that is your winter skirts your winter top or a sweater so one of the things that i like to do is to remove any lint are those fuzz bobbles that have gotten onto my sweaters and i wish i knew how they get on there but some of my sweaters are just covered in lint bobbles and i like to remove those things before i pack my sweaters away because that way when i pull them out for the next season then they look fresh and clean so what I like to use is just a fabric shaver and just shave all of those white fuzz bobbles off of my clothing. And this just makes your sweaters and your things that collect lint and dust look polished and sometimes almost like they're brand new. So before you put away those winter sweaters or a wool skirt or even your coats and jackets be sure to run a fabric shaver over them so that you can remove all the 
lint and dust that has collected on those items. And then sometimes if it's a long wool coat, I will put a coat protector over it. And taking these initial steps to prepare your items for the next season is just going to help you be more prepared when you pull those items out to wear them. So that is my next tip with regard to putting away and storing your items that you had for winter. Now this next tip I did touch on in the first and second tip in this video, but the next tip is to get rid of any items that you do not feel amazing in. One of the reasons for curating a wardrobe that you love is everything that you put on, you should feel good in, you should feel like you're very well dressed in, you should feel happy in those clothing items. So my next thing is to get rid of those items that you no longer feel amazing when you put them on. Donate them to someone who may love them and enjoy them. And this is going to create a space for you to bring different types of items into your wardrobe that you may actually love. Now we're not going to leave out footwear in this video because we need to bring out our spring footwear and we need to make sure that they are either polished or you clean off any scuff and scrape marks. And I love to wear white sneakers. Actually, I love to wear white sneakers year round, but especially in the spring. So right here, I have a pair of white sneakers that I absolutely love and this is, I got these from a Spanish brand called Patina. And these sneakers are not only classy, but I've worn them with satin and silk skirts. I've worn them with blue jeans, with shorts. You can wear white sneakers with pretty much anything. So what I've done is I've gone ahead and prepared these to wear them probably in the next couple of weeks. But what I've done is I've removed any scuff marks from around the sides or the toe. And these are leather, so you can buy a leather cleaner from Amazon and just clean them up. It removes the scuff marks off right away and they look almost brand new. So that is what I like to do with my white sneakers and to also preserve and protect them, especially when they're made of leather. Now, a couple of other pair of shoes that I love to wear in the spring and summer are espadrilles and sandals. And I have a couple of pair here I'm going to show you. And the first pair are these sandals that I bought in Italy. And you guys have seen these before, but I got these on a street called the Via del Corso in Rome. And basically the Via del Corso has all of the high-end stores like Gucci and that sort of thing. And they are really, really comfortable. And the leather is very soft. So I really love to wear sandals in the spring and summertime. And I think this has the perfect heel height if you want just a little bit height from the ground. Say for example, if you wanna wear like a skirt or something and you just need a little bit of a heel to be comfortable, I think this is perfect. The second pair of shoes that I really love to wear in the spring and summer are my espadrilles. And these are also from Spain, from Barcelona. And these espadrilles are amazing. They are extremely, extremely comfortable. And I love how they have this little grip around the edges. And they also look very good. Just imagine wearing these espadrilles with a shirt dress or even a pair of white linen pants. This would look so beautiful and they are comfortable. So I love wearing espadrilles in the spring and summertime. And again, this is by a brand called, if you're interested, Viscata, and they are in Barcelona, Spain. I didn't get them dirty last summer, so these didn't need much maintenance, but that would be my next tip is to go ahead and take out any shoes that you plan on wearing for the spring and summer and clean off any scuff marks or anything like that, dirt or whatever, because if your shoes are scuffed up, 
then no matter what you have on, you are not going to look classy and polished. Now, my next tip to prepare your wardrobe for spring is once you have removed all of your winter outfits and your winter shoes and hats and purses and replace them with those items that you love for spring, then go ahead and steam your outfits. Now, steaming is a lot easier, at least in my opinion, than ironing. And go ahead and steam those outfits or press them if you prefer to iron. But go ahead and press your white shirts, your shorts or your shirt dresses or skirts or whatever those outfits are that you plan on wearing for spring. Go ahead and steam and press them so that when you get ready to get dressed and you look in your closet, you can just pull things out and go ahead and put them on without looking for the ironing board or trying to find an iron. They are already ready for you to grab and go. So steaming your outfits or pressing your outfits would be the next step to preparing those items for spring. And now my last tip to prepare your wardrobe for spring is to pull out your sunnies and clean them. And one of the things I wanted to share with you ladies is that when you are standing in front of someone and they are talking to you, you can actually see fingerprints all over the lens of your sunglasses. So I would highly recommend pulling out your sunglasses and going ahead and just taking a cloth and cleaning all those fingerprints and things off of them. It's just going to make them look a lot better. And also you can see through them a lot better as well. So cleaning off your sunglasses would be the next step to prepare your wardrobe for spring. So those are all the tips that I have to share with you ladies in today's video. If you enjoyed watching again, please hit that like button. And also ladies, I have a lot of more videos coming for you. Thank you so much to those of you who stick with me each and every time I record a video. Thank you so much for watching and thank you for being patient as we transition into our new home. And I know that my videos have not been as frequent as they used to be. And that is because I have been trying to get things arranged and done at our new home. Thanks for watching ladies, and I'll see you in the next one.